Okay, we've come to the last segment of the event. Um, I would like to invite um, three um, artists um, to come up here um, to read to us a Russian poem. Um, they are Eng Yishen. Um, Yishen is a writer, educator, journalist, and LGBT activist. He teaches creative writing at NTU. And the second one is um, Tanya D. Rosario. She is, a, she is also a writer and an artist, and she is the author of a book called Tender Delirium, a book of poetry published by Math Paper Press, and she's currently running Queer Futures, a project for queer voices in conjunction with indignation. Um, the last artist who will be reading this poem is Deborah. Um, she is an educator, a performer, and a writer, and she believes that her and everybody else loving whoever they would want to be cause for joy and not hatred. Three of you, please. Um, while they are reading the... Thank you. Okay. All right. Um, actually, Jonathan, could you take our canter? <laughs> The poem we'd like to read from Russia is by the famous Russian poet Anna Akhmatova. Um, Akhmatova was, um, a was a famous poet during the, who started writing in the early days of the communist regime. Unfortunately, during Stalin's time, uh, her, her, hus uh, her, her husband was, uh, was killed, her, her son was imprisoned, many of her fellow poets were imprisoned, and her own poems were, were censored. Hello, yes. I will be doing uh, one, one verse in Russian, um, and then we will do the entirety of the poem in English. Requiem. Uznala ya, kak apadal yud litsa, kak izpadyek, vidya dvaye tstra, kak kino pisi, joskye stranitsa, Stradania, the word did not shake up. Cat Lokan is Piepel Lunit Ichonit, Syria ran me. Del Elaita Yutta the Druk Uluka, Vianya now, Gubak, the Kornik. If Sukon Kon, Shenske Trojit is book. Ya malius ya o sibye adnoi a balsie totam tayal samnoi if luti kolo if yuls is noi a krasna yu a slep shegu stenoi Those days when only the dead smiled glad to be at peace. And Leningrad, unneeded, swayed, throwing wide its penitentiary. When legions of the condemned, maddened by torment, passed, brief the songs of parting then, the locomotive's farewell blast. Dead stars hung above us, and blameless Russia writhed, under boats stained with blood and the Black Maria's tires. They, they took you away, away at dawn. As though at a wake, I followed in the dark room weeping children, among icons, the, ang the candle guttered, on your lips, the chill of a cross, on your brow, a deathly pall. I'll be like a woman to be shot, dragged to the Kremlin wall. Quiet flows the silent dawn, yellow moonlight fills the home. Fills it and falls a sconce, yellow moon ghost in its glance. A woman there it is, makes moan. A woman there, she lies alone. Sun in chains, husband clay. Pray for her, oh pray. No, it is not I. Someone else is suffering. I could not have borne it otherwise, all that's happening. Let them grant it to a dark covering, and let them take away the glittering night. They should have shown you, little teaser, little favorite, friend of all, sylvan princess, happy charmer. What situation would be yours as 300th in the line? You'd stand beneath the cross, 
and let your tears hot brine burn through New Year's ice. See the prison poplars sway without a sound. Oh, what a crowd of innocent lives all end today. Seventeen months I pleaded for you to come home, flung myself at the hangman's feet, my terror, oh my son. But I can't understand now all's eternal confusion. Who's beast and who's man? How long till execution? And only flowers of dust, ringing of censers, tracks just running somewhere, nowhere far, and deep in my eyes gazing, swift, fatal, threatening, one enormous star. Likely the weeks fly too. What's happened I can't understand. Just as, my darling, in prison, white knights gazed at you. So now again they gaze, hawk-eyed, passionate-eyed. And off your cross on high, of death, they speak today. It has fallen, the word of stone, on my living breast now. No matter, I was prepared, you know, I'll get by somehow. Of things to do today, I must crush memory down, I must turn my heart to stone, I must try living again. And then, hot summer whispers, as if for a black sea holiday. Long, long ago, I foresaw this, this empty house, this shining day. You will come regardless. Why not today? I await you. Life is very hard. I've killed the lights, cleared the way. For you, so simple, such a marvel. Take on any shape you wish, burst in like a poisoned shell, sidle in like a slip bandit or typhus germ from hell, or a fairy tale you've invented, always sickeningly familiar. Where I see policemen's heads and a concierge white with fear, it's all one now. The MC is swirling, while the pole stars alight, and in final terror closing, blessed eyes, blue and bright. Already madness hovers, obscuring half my mind. I drink its wine, its fires, ring on darkness, blind. I realize I must yield the victory to it now, must listen to it speak, strange fever on my brow, and I must take nothing with me that's my own. How I am begging, how I am disowned, not my son's fearful eyes, suffering, turned to stone, not the day that storms rise, nor the prison meeting room, nor the blessed cool of his hands, the lime tree's shady agitation, nor the slender distant sounds of his final consolation. Angelic choirs, the mighty hour of glory, and heaven confused in the fiery deep. To the father, why hast thou forsaken me? But to the mother, oh, do not weep. Magdalene beat her breast and wept. The beloved disciple turned to stone, but there no one dared, no one looked where the mother stood still and alone. I learned to know how faces fall apart, how fear beneath the eyelids seeks. How streaks the cutting blade, the art that suffering etches in the cheeks. How the black, the ash blonde hair, in an instant turned to silver. Learned how submissive lips fared, learned terror's dry, racking laughter. Not only for myself, I pray, but for all who stood there, all. In bitter cold, a burning July day. Beneath that red, blind prison wall. Once more, the remembered hour draws near. I see you, I feel you, and I hear you. They could bar barely carry into line, and you whom earth claimed before your time. And you who shook your lovely head of hair, saying, as if this were home, I'm here. I'd like to summon you all by name, but the lists are lost, unfound again. I've woven a great shroud for them here, out of poor words I chanced to overhear, remembering them always, everywhere, unforgotten in every new terror's care. And if they shut my tormented lips, shut my mouth, where a hundred million people cry, let them still remember me today, on the eve of my remembrance day. And if ever in this my native country, they choose to erect a statue for me, I agree to that ceremonial or honor, but on one condition, don't set it there. Beside the seashore where I was born, 
my last ties with it so long outworn, nor in the imperial garden by that dead tree where an inconsolable shade looks for me. But here, where I stood three hundred hours, where no one ever opened the doors, lest I forget in death's blessed oblivion the black Maria's screaming hum. Forget the terrible clang, the gates that hail like a wounded beast, the old woman's wail, and from my eyelids bronze unmoving, may snowflakes fall like tears melting. And the prison pigeons coo far from me, and on the never ship sail silently. We'd like to close the evening with a with um, one of my poems. It's called Official Letter. Okay. Dear, Dear citizens, citizens, on behalf of the President of the Republic of Singapore, on behalf of the Cabinet, the Members of Parliament, the Ministers, Prime, Ex-Senior and Ex-Mentor, on behalf of your CEOs, your middle managers, your bishops and muftis and guru pandits and cell group leaders, on behalf of your parents and the hundred generations that came before them, I do hereby grant you the license, O oh citizens, to be free. Do not thank me, O oh you workers, cooped up in refrigerated cubicles, hunched over circuit boards in a grinding factory somewhere west of Tuas. Do not fall to your knees, consumers standing sentry in your supermarkets. And do not weep, my pressure-cooked children, memorizing sums in your sterile chambers. No. Instead, take a moment and listen. No one owns you. No one controls you. Those who claim that power are charlatans and tricksters. You are healthy. You are rich. Yes. Look at the starving millions of the world and remember, you have no fear of famine, war, or murder, or disaster. You speak English, maybe another language, even a global tongue. You could work in any nation you wanted to. You know you could. You have a passport. You have your vaccine shots. You have visa waivers for half the planet. You have a history but you're free to walk away whenever you decide. You, you are 48, 48 years young. Too old for emo adolescent angst. Snap out of it. You are yourself, not your race. Not your religion. Not your IC. You are not too old for children yet. They call it the prime of life. You're ready to break yourself open and discover yourself. Do not thank me. I do not expect your love. I do not expect your forgiveness. Go out and climb your mountains, or else build them here. We cannot stop you. We could never have stopped you. Oh, my five million strong, you are beautiful. You are endless. Grow up a little. Don't you dare tell me I ever held you back. I'm sorry. The news takes some time to digest. The paperwork's still in process. So while the promise goes through, repeat after me. I am not my government. I am, I am not, not my, my government. government. I am not my family. I am, I am not, not my family. family. I am not my uh, nation. I am not my nation. I am free. I am free. Signed, us. us. Thank you.